After spending a week with Chevrolet's extended range electric car, the practice of plugging it in became quite a welcome task. That simple task led us to average 89.7 miles per gallon despite not driving it in the most eco-friendly manner. And plugging it in is in fact arguably easier than filling it up with gas because you simply just plug it into a 110 outlet and plug it into the car and 10 hours later you're fully charged. Perhaps the most amazing thing about the Volt as far as driving it is just how unremarkable it is to drive because I mean you look at this car and it's got 15 million lines of software code inside of it more than a Boeing 787 and you assume that it's a very complex car to drive but in fact it's actually really normal to drive and aside from it being silent and sounding a little bit like a golf cart when it's in EV mode it's really just like your everyday car um, we're in EV mode right now I've only got about three miles of range left because we've been driving it all afternoon um, you know it's got plenty of power on it I'm in normal mode um, the car like most new GM products has several different driving modes in it and uh, one of them being sport mode which actually makes a tremendous difference in the way the car drives I've got it in sport mode now um, you really get the electric torque instantly which is awesome and it is actually really fun to drive in sport mode the third mode is a uh, mountain mode which actually turns the gasoline engine on even if the battery is fully charged that way you have that extra oomph behind the battery just in case you have a challenge getting up the mountains I don't quite honestly think most people will ever use that unless you live in Colorado or something um, on the screen here we've got the uh, the display that tells us what's going on with the powertrain as you can see it's telling us we're running off the battery at the moment and as I coast it's saying regen power recovery because quite that's it's doing what exactly what it says it's regenerating the power that is lost within the kinetic energy within the friction of the brakes um, which is common in most hybrids however it's kind of taken to a, a higher level with the volt but since it is a partial EV an EV um, like I said accelerations remarkable for a, an eco car thanks to the electric torque um, and as most people are already familiar with the gasoline engine um, never really fully powers the front wheels of this car it just charges the battery it's basically a glorified battery charger except for that infamous mode that came out last fall when the car launched that GM never really told us about and that is that there is a small clutch that will let the gas engine assist the electric motor in powering the wheels under extreme conditions such as over 70 miles an hour and other extremities like that. Inside the Volt is what you would expect out of new GM. The materials are high quality and the design is quite modern actually. Push buttons access to the electric door and gas door reside on the driver's side door while push button start is on the center stack in an unusually blue hue. On the center stack most of the buttons are comprised of capacitive touch interface which is uh, similar to Ford's My Ford touch system that they're rolling out on most of their products now. Uh, with the Volt, the touch system seems to work much better than in Ford's products. Uh, there are a few physical buttons left on the center stack, the, mostly the critical ones, such as your hazards, the eco button, the drive mode. Rear seat legroom is also surprisingly not bad for a compact car. Uh, the rear seats do fold down and create quite a bit of cargo space for hauling large items. It's just about to switch over from EV to extended range mode which is when the gas engine will kick on. As you can see we've got about one mile of EV range left. Um, contrary to popular belief the, the transition is very seam seamless. You don't really notice that the gas engine kicks on. And in fact the gas engine does not it, well, I shouldn't say does not, but rarely ever runs constantly. It just kicks on for a little bit, shuts off, 
Okay, there, the transition just took place. Overall, we're really impressed with the new Volt, as you've read before on the site. Uh, there's always a lot of debate about whether it's a hybrid or an EV, but we quite frankly don't care either way. Um, for those with the right commute, meaning less than 40 miles per day or a little over, and light modifications to your overall lifestyle, this car is very livable, um, and it's an excellent way to ward off against ever-increasing fuel prices. Uh, definitely stay tuned, www.gminsightnews.com for the latest on the Volt and everything else related to GM.